With Phase 2 coming soon, Old War coming out on the PTR eminently, and eye level buffs already being noted on WoWhead as well as in the game, we can actually figure out what our BIS lists are for all of our classes for the most part. Algalon gear needs to be buffed, but that's fine. So today on stream, we went over the BIS list of most classes, and right here is the clip of us going over the Frost BIS list. I will have dedicated videos to every class if I can, so just make sure to like and subscribe if you like knowing your BIS list for everything, and then I will be soon sharing the sheets with all of the BIS lists on my Discord channel. Just to start off, let us let me show you guys Frost Blood. The duration of this fight is super long. Again, we're looking at three minutes because of the sake of, we're, let's just assume the fights are gonna be around, on average, around three minutes, at least early on. Even if they're longer or shorter, some fights like Mimiron, hard mode with these buffs will be like crazy, okay? Phase two, Frost Biss, boom. All right. Now, we've got a couple more items to look at here. Just really quickly, a lot of things are the same, right? Your leggings are the same, and I, I should actually change the gems we have here. I have no idea why I, I have the gems set up the way I do, but you could easily, uh, actually, no, it's the same. All right, yeah, that, that doesn't matter to me. No, I lied, it does. Okay, change, change out, let me change this gem. Okay, this is gonna be bold, bold Scarlet Ruby. Okay, and this is gonna be, when this loads, this is gonna be a Fierce for the haste. You might even wanna go with anything else. Maybe eight strength, eight crit. I'm not sure which one's gonna be the best. Doesn't matter too much. And then we're gonna go here. So we're proccing the, you're just getting a, a free amount of, of either eight crit or free amount of eight haste, whatever you need, right? And, and you would also use orange in the helmet also. Yeah, you'd use orange in the helmet also. Uh, what's my hit right now? Your hit is insane. So let's just say we're going with crit for now. Eight strength, eight crit. So both of these, both of those gems were wrong. Uh, you want to, if, if you have the, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for the tier one, by the way, man. If you do have eight strength as a socket bonus and you can get it by using orange gems, always do that because you're not losing out on anything. You're getting both the, the 16 strength and you're getting the eight of what other secondary stat. So there you go. As for loot differences from Unholy, you can see that the gloves changed. Now we're using uh, Conqueror's Dark Rune Gauntlet and we're using Conqueror's Dark Rune's Battle Plate again for the chest. Interestingly enough, you might notice that four step bonus for Frost is to increase the damage per disease of Obliterate. So you can actually run four piece as your alternative. If I scroll down, it is very, very close to run four piece as your alternative because uh, because of, of, of that set bonus. The set bonus is really good. But individually, the items that are stronger are gonna be running uh, shoulder pads of the Celestial Watch, War Helm of the Champion, and then you got plated leggings of Ruination. And eight, eight tier, I know that's not, not out. It's just fast to click. It's literally like four of each stat, okay? so. So this is a three minute fight right here. Again, you do want double Cress of Insanity. As Unholy, I talked about why double Cress is good for snapshotting, but then technically not Biss the whole time. And let me move my face. So you can see we're using Sigil of Awareness still. Some old Biss lists are saying you should use Sigil of Vengeful Heart. Don't do that. That's absolute insanity. That's so much, just, just to show you guys, the new Sigil from XT just, just to show you, this is the, the part that hurts, is that on really long fights, Frost is there pretty close to Unholy, but Frost scales all right. Almost 260 DPS loss in a three minute fight from using this, this sigil. And I didn't mean to reset my, my reference, so we're gonna go back and do this. And again, we're only running, uh, I'm only running right now 3000 iterations for the sake of time. I don't want this to be really long. I've ran a bunch of Sims. Alrighty, moving on to Trinket. Our Trinket does change. We are using Mjolnir Runestone. Now we'll set this as a reference. We are using Mjolnir's Runestone for Frost. Death Knights is from Thorim. It'll be pretty easy-ish to get. 
Right, so this is gonna be your second bis, and you're still using Dark Moon card greatness. As for rings, this is where you see a switch also. We now have Seal of Betrayed King, still our bis using the socket with eight strength, uh, 16 strength, and then Sif's Promise. And the close ones are all of these again. Um, Craze Construct Ring is still phenomenal, but Sif's Promise is gonna be better for you. you. You get the expertise. Haste isn't as huge for you, and you don't need the hit right now. So excuse me, crit and expertise is going to be really nice. Uh, Blade Bearer's Signet is also a, a pretty, pretty good alternative as well. So you do have a, some good options as a Frosty K for, for your rings. You can see actually Blade Bearer's Signet slightly higher on, on this length of the fight. They're pretty much the exact same, but I would anticipate and, and usually you're going to want to run with uh, Sif's Promise. Okay. So, but that's like an almost a one-to-one -one alternative is running blade bearer signet then for our cloak there's also an almost one-to-one -one alternative drape of the of the phasers general is stronger on all lengths of fights but drape of the skyborn is almost the exact same so this is very very close again guys and and skyborn is from algalon um and this should also i think get a slight eye level buff we will see but Face General should still be the stronger one. Again, that's from 10-man uh, hard mode General Vesax. Chest piece, the alternatives to your chest piece is always gonna be Embrace of the Gladiator, but then you're losing your two-set bonus currently. And if you go in and put in a bold here and change out like, let's say either shoulders or gloves, let's move here to grab hit rating and go in and move our gloves to something like Reprisal. Oh, or we could even go to yeah no it would be it would be reprisal changing shoulders to our tier gear shoulders and i don't need to go back and get that hit anymore so boom go back on the ring sips promise and you can see that that's also really close so technically you could go for embrace of the gladiator but that's that's very very close is switching out your two piece there and then also you can switch out for four piece like i was mentioning earlier to get the four piece bonus and that'll also be very close. I actually forget which piece would be stronger, so let's even look. If you go with your helm or the legs, I think it's the helm is the better option here for four piece. So there you've got like 100 DPS loss, 72 DPS loss on a three minute fight. So four piece isn't your best, but it is close. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. And if I swap back the helm, just to show you guys and goodbye beautiful plated leggings of runation which should be on holy prio anyways so as a frosty k you're not like too worried about it right then you'll grab these legs and you are going in with double bold and you show this and it's a huge dps loss the legs from from flame leviathan hard mode are just so insane that's probably your your, your highest prio for everyone another 300 dps lost for for doing this just just go for these legs but it probably should go to unholy dk first but realistically everyone wants these legs uh don't let warriors tell you that they deserve them because it, it's, it's the wrong gem i know guys don't worry um maybe warriors could take them over you but that would feel bad weapons technically there's some some good alternatives but obviously you want slow weapons so your only alternative is serious blooded blade of invar one arm from freja that's like your your real alternative weapon you want slow weapons you're you're really looking to get double caress of insanity but for now you can pick up like caress and seralis um sorry yeah so yeah seralis bracers same thing as we talked about with unholy dk these are just cracked out these are so good these bracers are, are amazing and your your boots are also amazing but there is a, a relatively decent alternative with the battle lords and i i think battle lords is more of a decent alternative for unholy than it is for for frost but they're pretty close right so this is pretty much what you're looking at as frost dk bis but again oh one thing that we we did right frost blood we'll do this simulation and then just wait for it guys we get to go frost unholy which feels so good because frost unholy actually allows you to then have like triple blitz every time right because you do have um epidemic so frost and holy your your diseases last for six seconds longer and it makes your rotation so nice and you'll see that on all lengths of fights for the most part you're actually increasing your dps is every melee going to want runestone no 
It's Comet's Trail is like another, is the thing that you're really fighting a lot of people for. But again, look guys, Frost and Holy, that's the way to go. You're Frost and Holy. Are you getting the phase two bis on that website? Mine doesn't show them. So if you go into on the sim site, you go in, you have to make sure you select the phases and now the sim sites are updated with the phases. And again, uh, the other difference from Unholy is your necklace is Frigid Strength of Hodir, which was, it's very, very close to Strength of the Heavens. So you, there's some pieces with very, very close alternatives are Necklace, Cloak with Facer General and Drape of the Skyborn, uh, your chest, Technically, with Embrace of the Gladiator and changing out your shoulders. Other than that, everything is pretty set stone. Your, your ring, there's some really good options. Blade Bearer Signet is probably the closest option. Your weapon, there is a decent alternative with Seralis. Uh, and you're not, you're not changing your sigil. Don't change your sigil. Don't change your sigil. Don't change your sigil. That is the updated Bisless for Frost Death Knights, okay?